Hey everybody, Chris Mayhew with Simple Tech coming at you with this week's Simple Tech tip. Today we're going to explore the Notification Center in macOS. If you watched our menu bar class, um, I kind of discussed that, you know, we're going to go over and highlight some of the items in the menu bar, and you can find that video in our show notes. Um, but this is the follow-up to go a little bit more in depth in Notification Center. So in Notification Center on your Mac, um, it's very much like notifications on your iPhone or your iPad if you own one, right? So you could have things come through such as your reminders or maybe appointments in your calendar if you have it uh, connected with iCloud or iMessage. It could be your messages, could be FaceTime, could be games, you know, it just really depends on how you wanna customize it and set it up. Uh, so we're going to explore that a little more in detail. So stay tuned, sit down and relax, sit at your computer, and let's talk a little bit more about uh, Notification Center in Mac OS. Thanks. All right, so Notification Center. Now, Notification Center is a, a love-hate relationship with me because I hate notifications, yet the notifications I do get, I want because they're important, right? So... Customizing notifications, I think, is extremely important for somebody when they're using a Mac or an iPhone or an iPad, especially an Apple Watch, because um, they can just get downright obnoxious. Like, seriously, how many notifications do you get in an hour that make you look at your phone? It, it, it drives me absolutely bananas sometimes. And when I'm sitting at my computer, I don't always want the same notifications or notifications from everything. But there are things I need to be able to go back and see. Like right now, I'm recording videos. So, you know, I have Do Not Disturb turned on or Focus, um, as it's called now, for work. So my notifications are silenced. So if I wanted to sit down on my Mac and go, okay, over this extended period of time, what notifications have I received that I didn't see? I can actually come up to my date and time up here in the top right hand corner. And so when you click on your date and time in the top right hand corner, you can see these are my notifications that I have. So I had appointments with on five with high fives foundation. My kid, my kid had baseball practice, right? Um, and then you see your widgets that you have in here too, right? Like the weather, your top stories, stocks, screen time, anything along those lines. So that's where they're going to show up. And as you close them out, they disappear. If I had more stacked up in there, those would start coming in and filling in those spots. Now to remove the notification center, just click anywhere on your desktop and that it goes away. But the date and time in the top right hand corner shows you your notification center. They're always going to be in the top right um, above weather or whatever top widget you have. And then if you click on your desktop, it goes away. Now, in some cases, you might get notifications that are stacked on top of each other. They're called grouped. Um, they're doing that on iPhone as well. So it's the same behavior as on your iPhone. If you want to see all the notifications of that group, so maybe it's your emails, right? You just simply click on it and it's gonna expand that group and it's gonna show you all those. You can take action on your notifications. You can snooze them. Um, so maybe it's a calendar reminder. You can snooze it for five, like one, I think it's one minute, five minute, 10 minutes, all day, um, close, you know, so you can snooze some of these notifications um, so they come back. You can reply in mail notifications. You know, if you're using Apple's mail program, you could just hit the reply button. Uh, you can see some more details, you know, um, or you can clear them. So there's a lot of different options that you have. You saw the way I cleared them as I hovered my mouse over it and there's just the little X in the top left corner that appeared over the notification. Now, notifications, like I was saying earlier, can be distracting. And so if you wanted to pick and choose what notifications you see and you don't, you wanna to go to your Apple logo and your Apple menu and go to your system settings. And then we're gonna do, like I've shown you before, I like to search. So you just start typing in notifications, notifications here. So you can see show previews when unlocked. So that means it's just very much like your phone. Uh, if your phone's not locked or hasn't been unlocked with your face or something, it'll actually show you all the text, like a text message, right? But if this says show previews never, it's not gonna show you anything. It'll show you you have a notification, but not what it is. 
Um, allow notifications when display is sleeping. You can see I have that turned off. Allow notifications when the screen is locked. Sure, why not? They'll just appear in my notification center. Allow notifications when mirroring or sharing the display. Yep. Then you go come down and you have all the different notifications that you get to choose from. So for instance, Epoch Cam. I don't need that giving me notifications. I could actually just turn that off, right? I don't think I really get any notifications from it anyways, but I could always turn that off. But there are some, like I don't use Apple's calendar. Um, so I made sure that I turned off the notifications from Apple's calendar. I use a different calendar, this fantastic, uh, fantastical helper, and that does give me notifications. So I didn't need both applications giving me notifications. One of the things I just noticed while we were working here is that my email program, which I don't like my notifications coming in via email for emails, also has a calendar built in much like Outlook and it's called Spark. And I don't need that giving me calendar notifications as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Now, what you'll notice is when you go into one, I'm gonna go into Apple's mail, that with for the types of notifications, up at the top, you have three different choices. You have none, so no banner. So that's a little pop-up that appears over here in the top right-hand corner. You have no banner, or you have one, a banner that shows up and then slides back off the screen. That's the middle one. Or you have an alert. An alert is persistent, so it just stays there until you take action. Um, my calendar one, for instance, is an alert because it is trying to tell me like, hey, you've got an appointment, you gotta get going. So I wanna make sure it stays there and it doesn't disappear. So those are set as alerts. However, for the mail program, it just shows up and then disappears. Um, if I wanted to take action on it, I could, or I can just come into the notification center and it'll reappear. Um, show notifications on the lock screen. So if you lock the computer, you know, show notifications in notification center, that's up here when you click on date and time. Badge application icon, so that is the little red, you know, circles and numbers and stuff that you get on the badges. Show previews, so you can say like always, you know, so it'll give you a little preview of the email in um, mail. Sometimes that's helpful. Maybe you're just waiting for a quick response that's going to be one line and you could just look at it right there. You don't actually have to go into your email, open it, read it, you know, so on and so forth. You could even reply. Uh, and then notification grouping. So that's when it stacks groups of applications together and groups those notifications all um, together for that particular application. So all notifications have this kind of configuration and setup. So if you like some notifications, but you don't want them all, this is where I really recommend you spend some time and kind of going through uh, and making sure that you have this set up to meet your needs. Um, like for instance, right now I'm seeing that reminders is turned off. Well, I want my reminders turned on and I want them as alerts because those are for me to go do something. Um, you know, so kind of scroll through here. You see all these fun little ones that you could play with. Um, that these are just the ones that are on my computer. Your computer might have more or different ones based upon the applications you have installed, but this is where you can customize notification center. So I hope you enjoyed this five minute ride with Not notification center, what it is, how to customize it and how to access it from the menu bar on your Mac. Thanks for watching.